Live to Notty Ash in Liverpool with our North West reporter, Sophie Reaper. Morning, Sophie. Tell us the very latest and the, the particularly the fact that the police now believe it's about gangs. Yeah, very good morning to you both. Well, we heard from Olivia Pratt Corbell's family for the first time in an official capacity yesterday when they put out a statement in tribute to the nine year old. They're asking people to do the right thing. They also said, we as a family are heartbroken and have lost a huge part of our life. If anyone knows anything, now is the time to speak up. It's not about being a snitch or a grass. It's about finding out who took our baby away from us. Now, Merseyside police have said they will do what it takes to find Olivia's killer and that they will leave no stone unturned. In the past few days, they've carried out a number of raids and arrests, and as you say, they now believe that it could be a gang involvement, and that's something that they are looking into. They're trying to clamp down. Obviously, we've seen three deaths in the past week as a result of gun crime, so they're really trying to clamp down on that. They say that they want no guns left on the streets of Liverpool. They're also said that they turn to com they're turning to the community sorry, to be their eyes and ears. They say that the response so far has been significant, but they know that there's someone out there who has the information that they need, and they're urging anyone who knows anything to come forward as soon as possible. Now, there are still three murder investigations ongoing for the deaths that have been carried out via guns in the last week alone in Liverpool and police say they're determined to find the killers of Sam Rimmer, Ashley Dale and of course nine-year-old schoolgirl Olivia Pratt-Corbell.